What's up guys, I'm Isaac at the Back of Road Harley Davidson here in Raleigh, North Carolina. And today we've got a 2014 Dyna Wide Glide in this gorgeous charcoal pearl with the blue flames on it. Certainly one that's going to be fun to see in person and out on the road. So super cool thing with Dyna Wide Glides, A, they're a Dyna. And so this one in particular is rocking that 103 twin cam. And the Wide Glides are known for a little bit further raked out front ends. So you get a little bit more of that old school chopper look, uh, but you still get a bike that can handle very well. This bike in particular is decked out with a few extra accessories such as the Stage 1 with the heavy breather, the Vance and Hines pipes, upgraded foot pegs with the heel pad, and a few other decorative pieces of trim. We're going to take this bike out for our little lap around Raleigh, and so that way you guys can go ahead and see how this bike handles out on the road, and you can see why you might want to make this Dyna Wide Glide your next Harley Davidson. So stick around for your pre-owned Bike of the Week. All right, what's up guys? So today we've got the 2014 Dyna Wide Glide. A uh, really gorgeous bike, especially in that gray with the blue flames. We're just gonna go give you a quick brief overview and then go and get this thing on the road because it is toasty today. Uh, so pretty much full stage one. Uh, you've got nice little chrome cover up here, upgraded air cleaner. Uh, you do have the two to two Vance and Hines pipes. Pretty hard to beat that sound, especially coming out of a 103 twin cam. So this bike is gonna run very well. Uh, standard halogen headlight up in the front. Uh, you've got that little bit of raked front end of the wide glide. Um, of the wide glide. Uh, let's see, uh, pretty basic two up seat. Pretty basic seat with a little added on pillion pad. So if you do inevitably catch a passenger with this bike, they got a nice little spot and a nice little backrest here for them as well. Uh, more of a butt rest than a backrest because not a whole lot to it. Nice little wood profile. Uh, let's see, uh, you've got the external shocks that the You've got the exposed shocks that the Dynas are known for. And we do have some upgraded little uh, foot pegs that we'll talk about later. The little Willie G shifter, as well as these nice little heel pads, which I'll talk about then. Big fan of those. Uh, and then you also have nice little passenger pegs as well, also Willie G. Uh, let's see. Uh, you've got all this nice, like, denim, wrinkle black all over on this bike, on the outer and inner primary, all up in there, especially on the horn cover there, a little cowbell action. You've got these upgraded Avon grips, and you have a nice little phone mount there as well. So, uh, let's go ahead and start this thing up and let you know what this bike sounds like. Oh, but first, I do have the key in my pocket. So, this bike is one of the uh, ones where you have to, where all you have is the, you have the one little circle key, and you just lock the ignition switch and the forks if you want um, so all you've got to do flip that open turn that and now we don't need the key anymore so you can leave your bike unlocked all the time if you somewhere you ain't too worried about having it but let's go ahead and fire this thing on up for you so turn that go to run and start oh yeah it's got the good sound to it right there sir on gas yeah go of course this has all the nice little features right here as well you've got the miles on the bike just over 12,000 uh, trip a trip b you've got your fuel range as well as a clock and your gear slash your rpms right there as well so lots of things you can see on this bike very well so we'll go ahead and throw a leg over on this bike here and get it on out of here So the cool thing the Dyna, with the Dyna Wide Glide here are the forward controls. So they are way out there for sure. So also it is a Dyna, so you do get a nice little bit of a, it lets you know it's on, that's for sure. Then once you get on it, it just smooths right on out here for you. So yeah, now this bike is lots of fun. Oh yeah, this thing, the cool thing with the Dyna Wide Glides is they just look like motorcycles, you know? And especially with big pipes, they sound really good. Oh yeah. 
So they do have, so especially the 14 here, it does have that little bit of rattle to it. Not rattle, pardon me. It's got a lot of that vibration with that rotor. And so you are gonna feel that. Uh, but when you get on the throttle on this bike, then it just smooths right on out. And so if you've got a Dyna, you should be on the throttle anyway, right? Oh yeah, so it's pretty smooth on our little uh, bump test over there. Let's see how it does on the highway. One of the best wind cams you can get actually. Uh, the Screaming Eagle 110s, those are fantastic motors, you get a lot of power out of them, but they, uh, they're just a little bit warm is the only thing with them. So, but if you can get over the warmth, and honestly for the numbers those bikes are putting out, uh, it's well worth it, that's for sure. Well worth putting up with the heat. Like here's a six speed. So you do have that going for you. So when you're cruising out on the highway, you can just pop it in that six gear and then just do some nice, easy cruising on this bike. So that's the nice thing about the later model Dynas. I mean, they're, they're awesome bikes that you can really just party with, do about whatever you want to with them, that's for sure. So also, Make this bike even more comfortable. This bike's got a good pull up on the uh, top end here. Uh, Making it more comfortable is that these do have the little heel pads there. So if you're doing like a lot of, I'm a big fan of those. Uh, I ran them on an older soft tail I had for a while, and they were fantastic. Because what you can do is for like a lot of like fast city riding, you kind of where you're doing a lot of shifting, you can kind of pivot your foot out on the outside of them, and then what you can do with that is you can pivot your foot on the outside and then from there you can uh, really get into that shifting a lot quicker. So you can see right here, you can kind of like quickly get in on it. But what else, what else you can do is then when you're doing some like just you know, quick shifting right there. You can really run with it. But then when you know you're really stretching out, you can just go ahead and put that back of the heel, or I guess the whole heel, on the little uh, heel pad there. So, making it nice and cozy. But oh yeah, so these are nice little bars. These are like uh, subtle T-bars, if you will. Um, you know, they've got most of the, pretty much all the heights coming from the risers and then it puts your hands in a nice good spot. Big fan of how this bike sounds. It's really hard to beat the sound of a twin cam and the twin cam with pipes and honestly, Vance and Hines pipes for twin cams. If you want that, uh, motorcycle sound or that, a uh, pretty iconic sound out of it, you know, it's hard to beat those. Let's see, what's our balance like on this thing? Oh yeah, easy. Easy bike to balance, easy bike to ride. Fun bike to ride, I'll say. And that front end you have, it's a, it's a good distance, you know? Like I say, you know, it's raked out a little bit, so it's a little bit more raked out than some other stuff you might be used to. But it's a, uh, but that front end's still close enough that you get a lot of good responsiveness. Um, you can still move the spike around. I mean, 
this uh this bike's got plenty of pickup plenty of power um you can really just ride it very well uh the seat's pretty comfy as well it's got that nice little lip on the back kind of keep you on a little bit better and uh hug your bottom if you will making it nice and cozy yeah no you keep get this bike up above 28 2900 rpms it's just a smooth yeah it's plenty good fun bike to ride that's for sure and then these blue flames if you like even if you aren't really a flame person i definitely uh come see this bike that's for sure bike's got plenty of pull on it that's for sure so once you really get on it I mean you just open up the throttle I mean this bike just opens on up and gets going so very cozy there that is for sure and then you know if you're doing some nice easy countryside back country riding she'll do that too you can slow her on down because this bike's a cruiser. And know what you're supposed to do with a cruiser? You're supposed to cruise with it. And that's exactly what we're going to do right here. And go enjoy our beautiful lake trip here. Oh yeah, she dipped right in there. So you can just ride on in. Gorgeous. Gorgeous bike, gorgeous bike. Do some nice scenic views here. Oh yeah. Right. Yeah, this is a fun bike. Wide glides are fun. Um, twin cams are a lot of fun. So as I've said many times, you know, it's so hard to beat those numbers out of that Milwaukee 8. But there's just something uh, something nice and satisfying about the old twin cams. And we just did beat the school this time, so ha. We got this nice open road all to ourselves here. Oh yeah. Oh, this is a great bike. Uh, so let's talk about some of the features here. Uh, so you do have the strip button there This but this bike does not have a digital cruise control because it is a throttle by wire as you see So instead you get the super fun little uh, thumb screw clamp. Uh, so that's a fun piece uh, This bike does have a fuel gauge. So I know that's definitely a concern with a lot of the older Harleys is does it have a fuel gauge because People for some reason want to know how much fuel they have while setting your trip a is always a fun option and Many people still do it, myself included, even if you do have a fuel gauge. Um, it's nice to have. And so this bike uh, does have, on this 4.7 gallon tank, it does have that nice little beast right up there so you can see how much fuel you got going. And it's got the fuel light letting you know when it's time to start seeking out some gas. Hello, Mr. Pedestrian. Oh, yeah. This bike is a little bit low to the ground, so it's nice and low. So it's gonna be plenty stable out here. It feels very stable. Um, very stable, and uh, it's gonna be something that you're gonna have, you're not gonna feel a lot of the weight to it. And it's really not that heavy of a bike. I see we've got another GoPro fan over here on a motorcycle. Suzuki, yes. So, yeah, plenty fun right here. Um, you've got this nice decorative fuel cap on the right. So, hello, sir.
23 just it wants to move yes yeah, so this is a bike you can really stretch out on at least for me as a 510 rider you know I've got a wonderful spot to put my feet on uh, the bars in a wonderful spot so I can really lean back on it a little bit too um, you know, enjoy this the shadier part of this route so it's cozy it's very comfortable um, just a good riding bike uh, good power, good responsiveness. You know, I mean, obviously it's not going to be the most responsive of any bike, but it's it is very responsive. And then you've got that gorgeously styled. Uh, this bike looks super cool. So with the rake, the flames, the gray, uh, just how the bike's set up. Uh, I mean, it looks good, and it's got the performance and especially the comfort to back it up. So I mean, any of these big bumps we've been hitting. Uh, they haven't been a problem at all. So we've got a nice smooth six-speed transmission here. So that's nice. These pegs are a little bit low, uh, so we are scraping them a tiny bit. Nothing too bad. Let's see here. Yeah, this is uh, you want some easy cruising. We've got the phone mount there, so if you did need to use some GPS or something, you can do that nice and simple. Uh, it's one of those that mounts up to the clamp, so it's uh, nice and stable up here. Uh, Styled, beautiful rides. Gorgeous day for a ride. It's been nice and warm out here in Raleigh lately. Perfect riding weather. Uh, maybe on the warm side for some people, but uh, it's only warm if you're sitting still. And if you're on a motorcycle, you shouldn't be sitting still that much. Let's see. All right, we are getting a little bit of reflectiveness off the uh, chrome top there on the triple tree up front. So that is a little bit not ideal. Yeah, this bike is, uh, this bike's ticking. This bike looks really good. It's very clean. Uh, I've got nice Willy G's or your thing, which go pretty well together with the old wide glides. Let's we'll see how many times I can say wide glide in this video. Um, we did do a video of a 16 Street Bob here recently. Uh, and how it compares with that, they're pretty close. Uh, this one just has a slightly different sound to it. Uh, I don't want to say it feels more stable, but it feels more, um, let's see, stable's not the word, but uh, you know, like how it is if you're, you know, uh, it's about to make a, about to say if you're driving like a, a large boot. Um, so this isn't like driving a large boot. This is like a it stays more true, I guess. You can still get in the direction you want, but like when it's in that direction, it it kind of wants to stay there on its own a little bit better. So is one perk to it that is for sure see so it'd be super cool if that uh, light here just changed for us oh yeah yeah this is uh, definitely not one you can Definitely not a bike that you can sneak, uh, do any sneaking in or out with late at night. I have pipes like this. These pipes uh, let you, let everybody know that you are on your way. Now you can do some nice light shifting with it if you want, and uh, do some lighter shifting and you know take it nice and slow if you need to. But it's not as fun. 
Uh, but you can keep it nice and quiet, rolling in incognito. Uh, now these controls are very relaxed. It's, a, it's not quite a clamshell position, but it's it's a, just just enough to be comfortable. I mean, I'm in a pretty good relaxed spot for just a little bit with these bars, um, just the right amount. And then my feet are just sticking out here. So my feet are just sticking out there. So I mean, it's pretty uh, propped up, propped up very well, um, smooth as one can be. Uh, let's see. Yeah, it's just uh, kind of surprising, you know, it's uh, a little bit further out there than you might be used to, but not bad at all. Mr. Jeep. Let's see. Ooh. Let's see what else is going on out here today. I think it's a shopping mall. partying straight on up here. Scraping a little bit. stoplights we can hit on the ride here today. So, not too bad. Yeah, plenty of fun bike. Um, it's just a fun bike that you want to go ride around on. You don't have any problem cruising on it. Uh, let's see, what's our normal questions? Daily commute, can you do it? Absolutely. This bike is that perfect size. Uh, the Goldilocks size, if you will, where you can really do most everything you want to with it. Uh, if you wanted to do a weekend trip, then all you've got to do is work on some luggage uh, options. Find just some uh, decent little bags on the side, maybe. Or uh, decent little bags on the side, maybe, or a little tail bag. And then you're good to go. Uh, and then so far as comfort goes, you're already in a very relaxed state, so really not a whole lot else you gotta do there. Um, so a weekend trip, you'll be able to do it on this bike, no problem. And it's stable enough that you can get away with it. Now, as far as like daily commuting goes, it's small enough that you can whip it around uh, most anywhere you need to. It's a motorcycle, so you can park it anywhere you want. Um, And you can have a jolly old time with this thing. That is for certain. Let's see, what could you do to make this bike better there? Uh, not a whole lot. Um, Maybe an LED, some sort of uh, brighter lighting up in the front. 
that'd be fun. Um, that's about it. That's just personal preference. Uh, LED over halogen, uh, LED all day. Um, now, of course, if you are going for that a little bit more, since since this bike kind of does go for that little bit older styling, um, you know, you might like that look a little bit better. That's a big old halogen. But um, it's just hard to beat that performance of an LED. That's for sure. So also, uh, definitely need to take you guys going back the other way because you can't see it in the mirror there. Uh, there is a gorgeous view, arguably one of the most photographed views of the downtown Raleigh skyline right next to uh, the Boylan Bridge. Um, so that's definitely a gorgeous view to see as you're coming into the city here. bring you guys on back to Tobacco Road. Let's see, and there she is. And we'll go to the next exit here, just for kicks. Just so that way we can put this bike into this part of the building a little bit better. Yeah, that is the Dyna Wide Glide. Ooh, we looked, you should have pulled up there beside the mirror so you could see us. Uh, but yeah, no, this bike's tons of fun. And third off. Um, yeah, show off your ignition switch. Uh, you've got your nice little light bar there. If you couldn't see it already. Uh, just your indicator lights, most of your indicator lights. Uh, but yeah, no, the gorgeous blue flame. Uh, this, is ton, this bike's a ton of fun. Uh, definitely one you can't go wrong with. Uh, so be sure to stop by and come see us here. It's Back Road Harley Davidson. And in the meantime, ride safe.